In the Phnom Penh region of Cambodia, this small village of Sphai Pak may look like another shanty town, but looks can be deceiving. In fact, the reality here is disturbing and heartbreaking. For years, Sphai Pak has been reported as one of the most notorious locations in the world for child sex trafficking. Women and children are drugged and held against their will in the buildings that line these streets. Thousands of pedophiles travel here, mostly from Western countries, every year to prey on children as young as five years old. Many of these children are tragically sold by their own families. And for years, almost 100% of the children here were trafficked. It's hard to imagine any goodness in such a dark place. But a light has been flickering. After seeing a news report about Sphai Pak, Don and his wife, Bridget Brewster, moved from the U.S. to see what they could do. Motivated by a deep love for Cambodia, the Brewsters sensed God was calling them to reach both the traffickers and the victims. In 10 years, they've opened a rehabilitation center for trafficked girls, a medical center, a kickboxing gym that engages and stops traffickers, and education and employment centers for families who believe trafficking is their only option for income. Their kids' club is also a beautiful, safe haven for hundreds of children. Now, thanks in part to their work, it's reported that the estimated number of trafficked children in Spy Pack has dropped from 100% to 60%. I sat down with Bridget Brewster to ask her about this slow and difficult work. Well, the work you guys do here is amazing. And, you know, I have a, I have a friend who was a Canadian police officer. His first experience in this town was coming in to um, a, go into a brothel, basically, with a warrant and uh, look for evidence. Mm -hmm. And he said to come in here, he needed 50 armed police officers, and they went in, like, the SWAT team, in and out. And to now, like, we're sitting here on the street having yeah. a conversation. Yeah. So and I live here. That, because was it that scary when you started here? Well, when we first came here a little over 10 years ago, I wasn't allowed out of the van to come down the street because it was too dangerous. And then for me to start coming with the outreach that the, um, our girls in our recovery center were doing, it, it was still a little dicey at that time five years ago. But now... You know, I walk down the street, I go to the market, you know, most of the people are nice and say hi, and some still are a little angry and bitter, but, you know, it's just amazing. What do you think has changed this town? Because, you know, lots of times people will say social programs or education programs or whatever. What, how, why are the dramatic changes such a short time? Really, it's just Christ. It's just as basic and simple as that. And, um, you know, all these young people have such compassion and kindness because their hearts have been so broken. And you don't see much of that here. It's very, it's very unusual. And so when older people are seeing these young people with such kindness and compassion, they're kind of drawn to... What is this craziness that we're seeing, you know? And, and of course, they're so hungry for them, for it themselves. They just don't realize it until they start getting heaps of it, you know, thrown on them, you know, through the church or through the health clinic and just family visits that our staff does. So they're drinking it up and they're hungry for more. But there's signs of hope. Yeah. But, you know, we're sitting here and probably within 50 feet is a holding cell yes. for little girls that are being trafficked. There that, is. And it's this, it's this underbelly of the city that, mm -hmm. or town, if you don't live here, you don't know about. Uh, right. But how do you deal with that? Because you have a kids club, you have school, mm -hmm. and, you know, um, I was told yesterday when I was here looking at the school that more than half of those kids are going to be sold that night. Right. Mm -hmm. how, like, does that not break your heart? Just it does. Just, you know, you love those kids. They're so mm -hmm. beautiful. And, and rescue is a long process. It's not, you can't grab them under your arm and run out of the country with them. No, as much as we'd love to. And the thing that's frustrating, that you wonder how much longer, Lord, why, is the corruption. Because we know what's happening where they are, and please, once you go act on it, and it doesn't happen. And that is frustrating. And it's times like that when you just have to saturate yourself in, in the Bible and what you know to be truth and what hope is. And it's... You know, God has a plan, and we'll see in time as timing is perfect, but it's so hard to understand when you know, like right down that alley, there they, there's a bunch being held. And down another little alley, there's a beautiful, like, little house that we can't go see that's all fixed up for people who want to come in and rape little kids. It's a beautiful place for them to go in and do it. And so you just pray, just pray for... For what's to come and then just really enjoy and relish 
what tangible evidence we have of seeing its hope and change and the little ones that we can hug it, that we know will go home safe that night. And just, you know, hug and pray the ones where you're not, you're uncertain what's gonna happen tonight. It's such an incredible work that you do here. And every time I come to visit, the work is bigger, <laughs> it it's, is. it's safer. Like I can go farther in this town than three years ago when I was yeah. here, you know? Yeah. It's, it's, it's really amazing. And you, know, you and Don are part of the reason why this town is changing. So I wanna thank you for what you did because it's really been amazing. And I just wanted to say as well, for those of you who have been giving to Cambodia, for Duke Crossroads Relief and Development, and you know, we've asked you to give and you've been so generous. We're here to tell you this is the result of your giving. This is what your money has done, supports these different programs that Bridget and Don run in the community, and you are changing the face of this very infamous and dark community. Let's continue to change the statistics and please join us in making a difference in the lives of children living in Cambodia. Visit crossroads.ca and give life.